In this video, we will show you how to register, log in, and set up your device for the first time. We'll start by navigating to portal.polarmonitoring.com, where you'll be greeted with a welcoming screen and to log in with your username and password. If you do not have a username and password, you can click the register here, and that'll take you through the setup of an account feature. Once you've finished that setup, we can type in our username and password and click login. Once you've logged in, you'll land on the home screen of the Polar Portal, and this will show you the gateways, your devices, your users, dashboards, subscriptions, and finally the reports. With this dashboard, we will see your general notifications and anything related to the Polar Monitoring System. We'll start by going into the gateways. This is available through this button here, or alternatively, on the top right, we can click the drop-down menu and go to gateways. You will see that obviously there are no gateways attached to this account as of yet. So to add a new gateway, we'll be clicking on link gateway in the top right. This will then bring up a section where we can type in the serial number of the gateway in the field. To do that now, you'll see that as you finish typing in the serial number, it'll find the gateway, it'll bring it into your account, and it'll show this menu here in front of us. We will then give the gateway a name, link the demo to our subscription, and finally set a location. Once these three are set, you'll see that they'll start populating on the right hand side. Under the gateway diagnostics, we have is the device connected, is the, what is the signal strength like, and finally is the location set. All three of these will have to be green in order to proceed to the next step. Finally, we'll click next. This will then ask you to activate your license for the gateway. We will then click accept. And this will then bring you through to the devices page where we can link the devices in the field to the gateway. To do this, we will click on the add new device. For this demonstration, we're going to use the MS300 Delta drive. We will select that as the device type from the drop-down list, followed by the sensor number. This sensor number directly correlates to the slave ID on the RS485. We'll then give this device a name. And finally, a, a bit of a description. Once that's completed, we can click link device. This will then link the device to the gateway and bring up a status and information about this link. We can then see our slave ID, our device name, the description that we've just filled in, the device type we've chosen, and if all is well on the communication side, it'll give us the status of the device that is connected to this gateway. In this case, the drive is currently stopped and the remote control mode is currently active. We can then, if we need any assistance, we can click on the help options here, or ultimately we can then delete the device if we wanted to add different ones. If we needed to add further devices, we can click on the link another device in the top right here. This is for if there are multiple devices attached to a single gateway in the field. Finally, when you have all the devices linked, you can click on finish, and this will bring us through to the devices dashboard where we will be able to go through the devices connected.